it's story time. I was just looking at one of our snow globes. Isn't this fun? I love these. Do you have any snow globes at your house? They're really Christmassy. This one lights up and makes the snow go around. Two little penguins in there. I think it's really cute. Anyway, let's look and see what our book is going to be tonight. Tonight we're going to read The Barnyard Christmas. This is written by Lisa Hardrader and it's illustrated by Laura Rader. On Christmas Eve, all the farm animals gathered in the barnyard. They watched the farm family decorate the farmhouse. Cow strained her neck over the fence so she wouldn't miss anything. Pig crowded in beside her. What in the blazes are they doing? asked Old Crow as he watched the farm family too. Goat replied, tying bows on the lamppost and dragging trees indoors. Isn't it lovely, said Cow. Lovely, squawked Rooster. It's absurd. And who is this red-nosed reindeer they keep singing about? Oh, foolishness, said Goat. Plain foolishness. It's not foolish, said Cow. It's wonderful. I only wish we could be part of it, she sighed. They've forgotten us again. Cow took one last look at the farmhouse and then she plodded into the barn. There's the barn and the farmhouse and the crazy rooster. Now we've done it, said Pig. Cow has no business moping about, said Rooster. Didn't the farmer give her a woolly scarf? Nobody else in the barn got a scarf. A gift, said Pig. That's it. If Cow can't be part of Christmas at the farmhouse, we'll bring a part of Christmas to the barn. And I know the part that Cow loves the best, the Christmas tree. You can't cut down a tree and drag it into the barnyard, said Rooster. No, said Pig, I can't. He hung his head. Hmm. Then Pig perked up. But I can make the shape of a tree out of snow. Nonsense, said Goat. Pig rolled a big snowball and then a small snowball and placed one on top of the other. There's the horse, and there's Pig rolling his snowballs. Big on the bottom, little at the top, said Pig to Mare. Just like a tree, said Mare. Needs branches, said Goat. Pig looked at the tree. Hmm. Then Mare looked at the tree. I'm afraid he's right, said Mare. Well, we can't make branches out of snow, said Pig. Where will we get branches for our Christmas tree? Foolishness, said Goat. He ambled over to the brush pile and came back with two sticks. He stuck one stick on each side of the snow tree. Perfect, said Pig to Goat. Just the thing, added the mare. And there's the goat up there in the corner in the pile of sticks. Now we decorate, said Pig. Cow says the farm family starts with candy canes. Fascinating, said Rooster, but I haven't noticed many candy canes lying around the barn lately, have you? Pig shook his head. No, maybe we can find something that looks like a candy cane, something long and skinny. The smallest rabbit stood up on his hind legs. Hmm, we have just the right thing, he said. The rabbits hopped to their hole and returned with a carrot. This is just the thing, said Pig. He stretched up and poked it into the snow tree. There's Rabbit going to get a carrot. 
Pig looked at the tree again. It's still a little bear, he said. In my experience, Rooster said, Christmas trees always have something bright on top, like a star. It's a signal for that flying ho, ho, ho fellow who comes every year. Bright? Did you say bright? asked Gold Crow as he hopped down from the fence. If bright is what you need, I have just the thing for your Christmas tree. Old Crow flew into the cornfield and took the striped cap from the scarecrow's head. He circled back to the barnyard and dropped the cap on the very top of the snow tree. There they are. There's Old Crow getting the cap from the scarecrow. This is very bright indeed, said Pig, and colorful too, added the mayor. The cap gave Pig an idea. I know what you need, said Pig. Socks. Socks, said Rooster, whatever for. The farm family hangs socks on the mantle, said Pig. Mr. Ho 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 puts toys in them. Mama Cat stood and stretched. My children may have just the thing, she said. Her kittens ran into the barn and returned with mittens. They are just the thing, said Pig. I don't suppose anyone has noticed that we don't have a fireplace, said Rooster. No, said Pig, you're right. We don't, said the mare. Here's two sheep. And then over here's the kittens that got their mittens. Hmm. Let's use the branches on the tree, said Goat. So they did. Mare took the mittens and hung one on the end of each branch. Are we finished? asked the rooster. Pig studied the snow tree. We've forgotten something, he said, twinkly lights. No, clucked rooster, the barnyard will look like a carnival. But cow loves twinkly lights, said pig. Doesn't matter, said goat. We don't have lights anyway, twinkly or otherwise. We have something, squeaked a tiny voice. The animals looked down. Three field mice ran into the barn and returned with two shiny buttons. Perfect, said Pig. There's a field mouse and there's the two buttons. Now we need ornaments, said Pig. Ornaments, asked Mare. What do they look like, asked Rooster. Shiny, dangly, mostly roundish, said Pig. Rooster flapped his wings. I know just the thing. Broken eggshells from the last bunch of chicks that hatched. Not dangly enough, said Goat. Really, squawked Rooster. And what would you suggest? More sticks? While Rooster and Goat argued, the squirrels scurried up to their nest and they returned with three large acorns. Goat stopped. Rooster blinked. Pig stared. Acorns, said Pig. That's a good idea for ornaments, isn't it? Acorn sounds perfect. Pig placed the acorns in a neat row on the snow tree. He stood back to admire his work. We need one last thing, Pig said. The farm family wraps long strings of popcorn around their tree. Splendid, said Rooster, but we don't seem to have a popcorn popper handy. We could find something similar, said Pig. The barn swallow flew into the barn and returned a moment later with the cow's woolly scarf. She draped it around the snow tree just in time. Suddenly, cow marched out of the barn. Merry Christmas, shouted the animals. Cow stopped. She looked at the tree. Here's all of the animals. A snowman, said Cow excitedly. A snowman, asked Pig. 
Pig hung his head. We wanted to give you part of Christmas. We thought we were making a Christmas tree. If you wanted to give me a part of Christmas, Cow said, this snowman is just the thing. Merry Christmas, everyone. See the snowman? They thought they were making a tree and all that time they built a snowman. Isn't that funny? I love to build snowmen. If you have snow at your house, I bet you'll get ready to build a snowman too. But if you don't, you can always draw some and color them. That is fun too. Sleep well, have sweet dreams, and we'll read again tomorrow. Good night.